Hello, and our Wednesday roundup comes from a very warm Sandown where it's been a busy midweek of racing, but the acceptance is around for Caulfield on Saturday with the Group 1 Championship beginning with the CF4 stakes. In the feature event, All Too Hard, the Guineas winner, could it be his last prep in Australia? Check out Brad Bishop's article on the Racing Victoria website for more on that. Also, Kalanish, the unbeaten Kalanish, is in the oar, and also some Kiwi class with King Mufasa, who arrives in Melbourne on Wednesday night. In the autumn stakes, we see the return of the Derby winner, five and a half star. Also, Havastan for Peter Gelagotis and Red Inca, who was a great winner at Flemington last time. As for Havastan, the Gelagotis stable are fairly mindful of having a light prep. You know, horses, three year olds having a Derby prep, but you know, he's got the score on the board, and you, you're sort of forced to press forward, and we're mindful of keeping his preparation light you know, to compensate. But you know, he, if he really steps up to the mark and presents himself really well, well, you know, we might change our mind and attack something a bit be bigger and better. In the Group Three Rubiton Stakes, Shanghai Warrior also makes a return, and Craig Williams goes aboard the Sydney Visitor at a BC. I'm really looking forward to doing my replays on this horse. They tell me he's a really good speed horse, and so hopefully that will suit him on uh, Caulfield suit him on Saturday. Some really good news over the past week has been the return to the saddle of jockey Chris Simons. He's been a winner on two occasions on the Sunday Country Circuit and also here at Sandown today. I've been watching a lot of videos of other riders, their styles, something I've been working on. Went out to John Patterson's out at Flemington for a couple of weeks and uh, started riding banjo bareback and just trying to get my bearings again and I've been doing a lot on the Equisizer which is a mechanical horse. With all the great Group 1 racing coming up, you'll want to enjoy it in style and the Group 1 pavilions, most of them are still available. They're happening for the first time on Saturday at Caulfield. There's a few spots left. They're limited to a small number, $99 a head. You can enjoy great racing vantage posts to see all the Group 1 action and also food and drink throughout the day. The other one at Caulfield is on Blue Diamond Day, the 23rd of February. At Flemington, Black Caviar Day on the 16th is all sold out, but you can still get into the one on Super Saturday on the 9th of March. For more information on the G1 pavilions, visit racingvictoria.net.au and also on the website, check out the festival Tip Whiz, your chance to win $10,000 if you're the best tipster over the Melbourne Festival of Racing. Get on to that. We'll catch you soon. Till next time, enjoy your racing.